Load-bearing structures are subjected to either static or cyclic loading, and they are often exposed to the environment. Depending on the material makeup, the combined effects of mechanical loading and the environment can dramatically reduce the strength of a material. The current presentation is an experimental demonstration of the influence of water on a high-strength steel. AISI 4340 steel is an ultra-high strength steel that is often used in high-performance components such as landing gears and aircraft, gears, and bearings. When a component with a crack is loaded, the stresses are concentrated near the crack tip. The crack component can withstand a certain load before fracture. In a dry environment, a component made of 4340 steel with a crack can withstand a load without failure when the stress intensity factor is lower than the threshold value, often termed as fracture toughness of approximately 60 MPa square root meter. In pure water, however, 4340 steel with a crack can fracture within minutes when the stress intensity factor is above a threshold of approximately 8 MPa square root meter. We first loaded the cracked 4340 steel specimen using a specially designed loading device. The corresponding stress intensity factor is approximately 20 MPa square root meter. In other words, the specimen will never fail or the crack will never advance if we keep holding the same load in dry air. Now let's see how pure water affects the strength of the steel. We place the loaded 4340 steel specimen in pure water and monitor the crack propagation under a digital optical microscope. Here you can see a video of the crack propagation in real time. The crack begins to advance after the specimen has been in the water for approximately 1 minute and 30 seconds. The slight shaking in the image is due to the microscope resting on an unstable surface. The shaking is caused by the natural vibrations of the floor. Notice the phenomenon that occurs as the crack continues propagating. The crack repeatedly deviates away from itself and back together, forming cells as it progresses. The crack growth rate is approximately 8 micrometers per second. Notice how the crack is wavy instead of jagged. This is due to the specimen being in water instead of air.
Also notice how branching usually occurs, and one crack branch may stop propagating while the other continues. After the fracture, the SEM photograph illustrates intergranular stress corrosion cracking in the specimen. The fracture grows along the grain boundaries of the AISI 4340 steel. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more, write your suggestions in the comments below.